Hello and welcome to my new channel PS4 Linux. If you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. So this is my first video and in this video, I'm going to discuss something that most of you are curious about. Since the past two to three years, we have seen a lot of interest in running Linux distros on your PS4. We have had multiple developers like IT Mania, Nasky, Hippie68, Modded Warfare, and even the team PS Zeta chiming in with all kinds of distros, kernels, and whatnot. And I'm sure that many of you are curious about building your own distro for your PS4 or maybe share it with the rest of the world. So in this video, we are going to learn how you could make your first Linux distro from scratch. And I have also made sure that this tutorial is extremely beginner friendly. I'll take you through the steps, step by step, I'll spoon feed it to you. So by the end of this tutorial series, which I have divided into multiple parts, and this is the step one of the series, I'm sure that you will be able to build your first distro. All right. So without wasting any time, let's just get into the video. Beginning with the requirements, this is the software that we need to build our virtual machine, that is Oracle VM VirtualBox. And then we'll require the VirtualBox extension pack, which I have already downloaded here. And then the ISO of your favorite distro. In this case, we're going to build Fedora 35. I've already provided the download links for all of these pieces of software in the description. Just go to the download page and download the versions that you require. For example, in this tutorial, we're going to build Fedora 35. But if you feel like building Fedora 34 or maybe 37, you're free to do so and download the proper ISO. All right. Before downloading the ISO, make sure that you're downloading x86 underscore 64 version of the ISO. So let's begin with the tutorial. The first step would be to install Oracle VM VirtualBox, which is a pretty straightforward process. I'm not going to take you through that. All you have to do is click on the installer and the next, 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 that's it. So once that is done, the next step is installing the extension pack, which I've already downloaded here. Assuming that you have already installed VirtualBox, all you have to do is double click on this extension pack and then click on install. And then uh, there's an agreement. Just scroll down all the way to the bottom and then click on I agree. That's it. We have installed the extension pack successfully. The extension pack is an S3 piece of software, especially given it helps you run USB drives on your virtual machine. We'll need this later in the tutorial. All right. So since that's out of the way, let us build our first virtual machine, which will help us build our first PS4 Linux distro. All right. To begin building your first PS4 Linux distro, click on new and then name your virtual machine anything you like. I'm going to name it PS4 Linux here. As you can see, the type has already been set to Linux, but the version we'll have to change to Fedora 64 bit. In my case, if you're building Ubuntu or any other software, just make sure that this is selected here and then click on next. In this step, we're going to allot RAM to the virtual machine. Since I have 32 GB of RAM, it's okay for me to allot about 4096 MB of RAM to this virtual machine. Uh, but depending on your memory capacity, you'll have to lower or increase this. All right. So I'm going to click on next and then we'll have to choose our storage capacity uh, for running some distros like Fedora 8 GB is perfectly fine. But just for the sake of it, I'm going to give it more than that. So uh, first of all, make sure that this is the create a virtual hard disk now and click on create. And then in this, just click on next and then choose fixed size and next. And as already said, I'm going to change it to 10 GB and then click on create. Depending on if you have an SSD or an HDD, this might take some time on an SSD. It is much faster as you can see. That's it done. But if you have an HDD, it might take some time. Once that is set up, all you have to do is make sure that PS4 Linux is clicked here and then click on storage. And then here you can see there's an empty disk icon. Just click on it and then click on this icon and then choose a disk file where uh, we have already downloaded our ISO and click on it and then click open. So this was the basic setup for uh, running the virtual machine. With the virtual machine all set up for installation, all you have to do is click on start, making sure that PS4 Linux is selected. And then this window pops up. And you're provided with three options. Make sure that you're using your arrow keys to scroll up to install Fedora 35 and press enter. This will take you to the installation wizard and this is going to take some time. And here we are, this is the welcome window where you'll have to select your language properly. If you're satisfied, click on continue. And now we have the basic settings here. Here we have the keyboard language support and time and date. If you're satisfied with these settings, just leave them there. Now we're going to jump to the actual setup. So first thing you'll have to set up is the installation destination. Just click here 
and make sure that your hard drive is selected. We created a 10 GB hard drive at the beginning of the tutorial, as you would remember. So this is selected here, making sure that the tick is on. Just click on custom and then click on done. So now you'll be taken to this step. And as you can see, BTRFS is selected by default. We are going to click on it and then choose standard partition instead and then click on the plus icon and for the mount point we're going to set just the slash just the slash nothing else all right and then click on add mount point this will give you a summary of what you have set up as you can see the device type is standard and the file system should be ext4 all right once you have confirmed that just click on done and you will be provided with a summary of changes if you're satisfied with these just click on accept changes and yes i'm satisfied so i'm going to click on accept changes and in the next step, I'm going to choose my flavor of Fedora. So for this, I'm going to click on software selection and then I'm going to choose the LXDE desktop. So I'm using a net install ISO here. What this will do is this will give you multiple options to choose from. Like, as we can see, there's KDE, XFCE, LXQT and multiple others like Fedora Workstation. So you do have the option of installing any of these. But the caveat is that this installation will use the Internet to download the necessary software. But this is what I prefer because this will make sure that your system is up to date as soon as it is installed. All right. So I'm going to choose LXD desktop and I'm not going to choose any of these softwares. As you can see, there's a ton of software that you could choose from. Depending on your needs, you could choose any of these. By the way, I'm going to choose LXD because it is a lightweight desktop that could run very well on the PS4 and not place too much pressure on the RAM. All right. And then I'm going to click done. In the next step, we're going to set up the root account and the user account. For that, I'm going to scroll down. And then as you can see, here we have the root account, which is currently disabled. I'm going to click on it and click on enable root account. It will ask for a password. You could set up anything here. I'm going to choose PS4 and then I'm going to confirm PS4. Since we are using a weak password here, you'll have to click on done twice. All right. So our root account is set up. Next, we are going to set up the user. We are doing these steps already during the installation because this will save us a lot of headache later. In the full name, you can provide anything. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose no 404 and then make sure that this user is an administrator. For that, all you have to do is click on this tick and then provide a password. Again, I'm going to provide my password, which is PS4. And again, since this is a weak password, you'll have to click on done twice. All right. So we are done with the basic setup. All you have to do now is click on begin installation and that will begin the installation process. Now, this is going to take some time, as I've already said. This net installer utilizes the internet to get you the latest packages. And as you can see, the system installation is complete. Now we're going to click on reboot system. But before that, Observe this icon, which tells you the status of the ISO. So once I click on reboot system, as you can see, this is disabled now. If for some reason this is not disabled, you'll have to right click on it and make sure that remote disk from virtual drive is clicked on. All right. So this has rebooted and I, this will give you two options. Just choose the first option that is Fedora Linux without the rescue on it. And as you can see, I'm on the login screen. Just click on Noob 404 and the password that we set was PS4. I'm just going to enter it and press on enter. So we are right now in the Fedora 35 system that we just installed. Just close it. And congratulations, guys. You have just completed the first step of building your own Linux distro. To continue the tutorial, just go to the description and click on step two. Or if you came through the playlist, you could just watch the next video in the playlist. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Just make sure that you click on that like button if you like the video, leave your comments below and if you face any kind of hurdles during the installation or during any part of the process, just leave a comment below and I'll make sure that I'll find a proper solution for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell button so you get the updates as soon as we upload our videos. Bye bye guys, thank you for watching a video on ps4linux.com.